What's up, what's up, you two? What's up, everybody? Yep, yep. It is 4.15 a.m. Yep, and I'm done with my 34 now. We're going to go up here and put this thing on the scale and see how much it weighs. And then, uh, then we got to throw some fuel in here. Yep, yep. I mean, we're going to get on down the road. Now, it is 4.15 Central Time, or Eastern Time. So it's only 3.15 out here. So I'm hoping with it being so early and it's Sunday that try it, that the pump tank will be all backed up. Well, that's a good looking peat right there. It's a shame it's dark and I can't get no picture of it. All right, well. Anywho. Up here's the scale. See if we can get on there without any issues. I can see now I ain't gonna be able to back off because of that pickup truck right there. But that's all right. Y'all see all the pumps there. Half of them's empty. So we should be good. Yep, yep. I think I'm all the way on the scale. Yeah. All right. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. All right, we got our weight. So now, what are we gonna do today? We normally back off this scale, but yeah. That damn truck there got me all messed up. That one pickup truck. But that's all right, I can do it this way. Yep, yep. So you turn. And then go through here. in this damn truck if I can work my damn wrist right. Ugh. All right. Ugh. I'll be back with y'all here shortly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, folks. We got our fuel, got our scale, got everything done. Now all we got to do is Get the hell up out of here. This load, paperwork says it's 42,000 pounds. I just scaled it and they ain't nowhere close to 42,000. I got 30 on the truck and 30 on the trailer. So that's about 8,000 pounds. You know, so at least six to 7,000 pounds lighter than what they said it was gonna be. So yeah, what a deal. Anywho, yep, we're leaving Waco now. I'm gonna go up through, yeah, I ain't taking no back road, so yeah. Going up 35 to 20 and drugging up. Let's go. Flat top. 
stop W9 over there at the, uh, the, the Kenworth dealer. Brand new flat top W9 with the little coffin sleeper. Yes, sir. But it's way over there at the parking lot. So, yeah, I don't know if y'all seen it or not, but there's two of them. There's one with the big studio and then one with the little coffin flat top. Yeah, yeah. So here we are, folks, getting on the big road. Let's go. Drugging up, drinking up. Alright, folks, here we are going through Hillsboro, Texas. Yeah, yeah, Hillsboro, Texas. We ain't far from, uh, I don't think we're too far from Carl's Corner up here. Yeah. Yeah, right up here is the sign for the split, I think. Yeah, right here's the sign. See, 35E and 35W. Yep, yep. So, yeah, let's go around this curve where we're going to turn and go 35E, then that's Carl's Corner right there. I still don't know why they call it Carl's Corner. Maybe I need to do some research, but, uh, yeah. I do know Willie Nelson used to own the truck stop there. That I do know. Now it's a Petro. Yeah, and, yeah. But other than that, I don't know too much about Carl's Corner. Okay, from what I just read, this uh, truck stop up here, it used to be, uh, it used to be a happening place. Yeah, uh, a guy named Carl Cornelius used to own it, and it had a swimming pool and everything there, and every weekend they used to host weddings and everything, and on top of the sign it had dancing frogs, and yeah, but anyhow, and then in uh, 2005, Carl Cornelius and uh, Willie Nelson joined together. And that's when they become Willie's Place. But yeah, he opened it up in 1984 when this truck stop originally opened. I don't know what I did. It, it was uh, Cornelius Place or something. But anyhow, yeah, now it's a Petro. I think it's been a Petro since 2013 or something, what I read. But anyhow, yeah. And, and, and Petro done running down. I mean, they got a biodiesel plant there. And I, I've seen the tanks and all, but I don't think they, they produce any biodiesel anymore. But yeah, that's the truck stop there on the left. They used to have the dancing for, And a swimming pool at a truck stop now. That's unbelievable. But every weekend they had parties and uh, they, they hosted weddings and everything. That's what I just read. That's what Google told me. If y'all want to know, read, read the whole story behind it. Go to uh, Google and, uh, and all I did was ask what's the story behind Carl's Corner and then I got the whole story. But anyhow, yeah, that used to be Willie Nelson's place. It was called Willie's Place. Yep, yep, all right, folks. We're about, oh, oh, 17, 18 miles from being on I-20. Yep, yep. So we're not far from being back in the Dallas Metroplex area. I mean, we'll be in Dallas County, but we won't be in Dallas. But, yeah, we'll be in Dallas, but not in, you know what I'm saying. Anywho. Yeah. So... Keep on rolling. Still five miles away from I-20 now, folks. Look off in the distance there. You can see Dallas all, all lit up. Yeah. But. Yep. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe I should have went to the hospital yesterday. I, I, I sent yesterday and uh, left my... I went and bought a wrist brace. And, um... Yeah, I'm talking about my fall yesterday. 
Well, now my back is hurting. Every time I take a deep breath, I got this sharp pain in my back, so I don't know. Just know I'm getting too old, but this shit don't heal as fast as it used to. But anywho, on a good note, yep, yep. We almost to 20, and then, uh, yeah, they're gonna scoot on across. Oh, damn, big ball. Yep. And then at the 33 in Louisiana, we're going to stop over there and take our 30 minute break. Uh, yeah. We got 775 miles to go, but we're not going to get all that today. We're going to get over to Meridian or Tuscaloosa or somewhere like that. That's going to be the end of the day. But we still got a long way to go to get there. So, yeah, that's about another 500 miles. So, yeah. Anywho, yep, yep. Now we're two and a half miles from 20. All right, here it is, folks. 20 east and 20 west. But we're going east here. You can see the, uh, there, the big green over there. That, that's that tall building. That's downtown Dallas. Yep, yep. I ain't never noticed that before coming up through here. You can see. You can see downtown from here. I didn't never notice that before. What a deal. What a deal. Oh, yep. Sharp turn, sharp turn. Slow down. Oh, yeah. You can see it real good right there in the turn, right in between the trees if you slow down. Yeah, right over there. Y'all couldn't see it. I had to look out the side window, but yeah. You can see it good. Then when I get all healed up and I can, yeah, use my right hand again. I'll show y'all what I was talking about. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Y'all have seen Dallas plenty of times. Well, we're on I-20 now. We hit the 468 mile marker. And it is 636 is the last mile marker here on I-20. So 470 to the 636. So it's a 570. So about 100 and uh, 150 miles, give or take a couple here and there. Yeah. 166 miles. Had to do a little add there. Add tracking whatever. Yeah, but from here is 166 miles to the state line. Yeah, it's nice to see they done some repavement through here. But they still uh, are the bridge and the uh, where the overpass or the bridge, whatever you want to call it, overpass bridge, where it meets. Yeah, there's still a big bump. Y'all see, there went another one. I don't get it why they can't join the overpass in the, in the highway without that damn speed bump. I mean, every one of them here in Texas is the same way. Every time you cross over an overpass or bridge, there's a bump there where they like, connect and they can't. They can't connect them without a damn bump. See, there's another one. Oh, Anywho. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. We're it up. Let's go. big bump right there. They just stored there it called foxes. It looked like a monkey's but it says fox. I thought it was a monkey's. It's as big as monkey's. I wonder if they got the same rule that monkey's got no trouble allowed. I 
I mean, how do you get your product in your store? You gotta have trucks. But yeah, Bucky's don't want drivers in there shopping. That's just the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, all right, all right. We just come through Terrell, Terrell, Texas. We got 130 miles to go to the state line. Oh, it done got real foggy on me. Oh, I hate the fog. I can deal with the rain, the snow, and all that other shit, but fog, I just don't like it. Especially when it's real thick. Right now, I can still see somewhat, but yeah. Where that truck is, that the light you see there in front of me, that's about the distance. I can't see no further than that. Matter of fact, it just disappeared. I can't even see them up there no more. I can see them in the camera, but I can't see them with the naked eye. So yeah, not good, not good. Yeah, it's still real foggy and I just passed a truck. I don't know, I guess he run up on somebody real quick. He ended up up in the trees on the right side. Nobody, no police or nobody there yet. It must have just happened. He got his hazards on and he's sitting there. There goes a fool with no tail lights. Look at that fool. He got no tail lights out here in this shit. Are you serious right now? Oh man. Anyhow. It is what it is. There's some automatic lights, I guess. Your lights come on when you crank up your damn truck and you don't think to turn the switch on so you got no tail lights. Uh, well, at least I know he's up there, so I just gotta keep an eye out for him. Anywho, yeah, yeah. We're about 75 miles from the state line. Well, it's still foggy, but it's trying to get daylight out now, so yeah. Well, hopefully, this fog clears up here for too long. All right, all right, now we got about 40 miles. Yeah, we in Longview, Texas now. We got about 40 miles to the state line, 40 miles. All right, folks, all right, we are one mile, one mile from the state line. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's a misty raining right now. I figured it was going to, but that's all right. We making it out of Texas. All right, all right, here we are, folks, right now. Welcome to Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, we just crossed into Louisiana. Oh, yeah, we got these scales up here, but it's Sunday, so I ain't, ain't worried about no scales right now. I mean, it is Louisiana. They are hit and miss. You never can tell with Louisiana, but I think we should be good, which I ain't worried about it with the weight that's on this, this one. I mean, 30,000 on the drives and 31 on the trailer. I ain't too much worried. And the way station is closed. So that's a good sign too. Yard that. That's the green light. Yep, yep. Alright. Well, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. We got about 10 miles, 11 miles up here. We got to take 220.
big uh, Bossier City water tower. Yep, yep. Need an American flag on the side. Uh, yeah, that's Bossier City. Bossier City. All right, folks. All right, we uh, have taken our break, and now we're gonna take a trip through the truck stop. I seen something a minute ago I thought was cool on a hot shot. I'm gonna see if we can get a view of it. Yep, yep. Oh shit, I gotta put my shit back up in the air fryer. Damn it. We'll get back with y'all right here in a second. All right. Now we can roll. Uh, my old damn hand is swelled up today, but wristband is helping my wrist it's black and blue on the bottom on the bottom of the wrist it's all black and blue but I don't know what that means but anyhow where the hell did he go with that damn hot shot I thought he was right here Oh, he drove up in the hole, so we're not going to be able to see what I was talking about. Oh. Well, anyhow, it looks like an old horse carriage or old buggy, but it's got some, like, not 20-inch chrome wheels. It's got, like, some 45 or 60. I don't know. It's got some big-ass wheels on it, something that look like it'd be on one of them big, big, um side by sides yeah that's pretty cool uh -huh. anywho all right we're gonna get out of here and head east folks all right here we go back out in the rain old misty rain that's funny when i was walking in and out the truck stop I didn't feel none of this rain, but I get back rolling, and I hear it is, it old misty rain. Yeah, well, it is what it is. I ain't too much worried about that. Nope, nope. All right, well, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we're 60 miles into Louisiana now, folks. 60 miles in. Got 131 to go. Yeah, they doing a lot of clearing here on the side of the road. You see they cutting all the trees down, I guess. They trying to get everything away that could possibly fall on the road. I don't know. But they doing a lot of that through here in the middle in some parts in the middle where the, the trees are stuff in the middle they're clearing that too hey folks yep yep we on the outskirts of monroe look at the police up there hiding behind the sign yeah we on the outskirts of monroe moving right along today we got five and a half hours left on the clock don't know if i'm gonna run all that out i I just might see where I end up. I know I gotta stop over here at Meridian for fuel, which that's still eh, 130 plus the 80 I got left. So yeah, that's another three and a half hours before I get there probably. So we'll see. It's 11 o'clock my time, so. 10 o'clock here. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Central time. I should be at Meridian. Yep, yep. 
So yeah, if it don't take too long to get in and get fuel, I may just continue on and go as far as I can go. Get in fuel. And I did get started early, somewhat early today, so I can Yeah, and it's the start of a new week now. Basically I just come off of 34 and it's the start of a new week, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push it every day this week, I think, just to see what happens. But maybe I won't have no because I, I, I missed the load this past week because of all the trailer problems, all the tire problems I had this past week with that one trailer, uh, two tire, two tires flat, and I had another one that blew out a tire, and you know I just it's one thing after another last week. So let's hope for the best and hope that this week goes better. Alright, we can go. Well, this ain't good, folks. Halfway through the weekend, right outside of Monroe. Get him out before he fires death. And, uh, yeah. I was at a dead stop there for a couple minutes, but we back moving now, moving slow. It was nearly, there was a wreck up here with a big truck involved. I just ain't got to that point yet. And everybody coming up this right lane. That's what's holding up the left lane because everybody's wanting to come up the right. Oh, right here it comes. And yeah, they pretty much cleaning it up now. They sweeping everything off the road. all over the road. There's a big truck up here too. Yeah, here's the big truck. T's and P's for those involved in this one. Yeah, he got hit in the side. Wow. Yeah, T's and P's for them. I guess that car must have spun out and he was going past at the wrong time. He's just at the wrong place at the wrong time. The big truck. He got hit right there in the, the fuel tank, the driver's side. You can see where that car went off in the grass on the left side, so it must have went off in the grass and then they overcorrected and hit that truck. That sucks for him. But anyhow, we, we threw it now. We, had, uh, we got about, oh, 70 miles. Have about 65 miles and we'll be crossing over that mighty Mississippi. Yep, yep. Here we are again, folks. The big white cross. Everybody should, if you watch my videos, you should know where I'm at right now. Rayville, Louisiana. That's right. And from here, it is 51, 52 miles from the state line. Yep, yep. So let's go, let's go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's one of them old Taylor transport trucks. Hell, he pulls a dry van too. I know, I, I thought it was a flatbed company, but there's a dry van behind them too. So yeah, I guess he got his hands in a little bit of everything. I guess that's what you got to do with a trucking company now. If you want to make it, you got to pull a little bit of everything. Oh, oh, run them bumps hurt. Anywho, all right, folks, yep, we're about uh, 18 miles from the state line, 18 miles. The Louisiana scale on the east side of Louisiana, yep, yep, just before the state line here. Let's see what they doing. Uh, Although I'm not worried with this supposedly 42,000 pound load. Now, it says 41,669. Yeah, it may as well be 42. It, it, it ain't no 42 in the box. Right? There ain't no way. Not with it 30,000 on both axles. To me, that's 
8,000 pounds light. So they might have 32 in there. 34. There ain't no 41. But that's alright. I might rather be light than heavy. Uh -huh. Oh my god, why are we slowing down to 60 miles an hour? Come on, folks, let's go. There ain't no need in going this slow. Man. Are you serious right now? We ain't even got to the damn scale exit and you're going 60 miles an hour. Let this let give me a green light and see what happens. Green light. I'm gone. And the bypass lights are on, so yeah, it's closed. The sign there says open, but it's closed. Anywho, yeah, right up around the corner here. We're, we're gonna uh, be crossing over the mighty Mississippi River and going into Mississippi. All right, there we are, folks. Already getting on the bridge here. Yeah, this is all marsh land here. There's still a little bit of water in it, but. I'm surprised with the river being as low as it is, ain't any water here. Well, anywho, y'all can see the bridge right up ahead. Yep, yep. There's the bridge. with the old paddle boat over there. You can't really see it through, but this is what it looks like when you get a clear view of it. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Mississippi, folks. Yeah, we're in Mississippi now. I'm right, halfway through the bridge we crossed into Mississippi, but yeah. Anywho, yeah. Got a scale coming up here in about eight miles, and uh, I'll get back with y'all there. Look at that old car there in the middle, on the bottom. What is that? Oh yeah, that old, like old two door Chevy something Impala maybe, old two door Impala. Did they make them back in the old days? Two doors. Whatever it was, it was two doors, and it was a Chevy. It had the three lights on the back. That's why I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's pretty cool though. Yes sir, look at him. We got us a Hampstead Peterbilt. Yep, yep. It's a good looking truck, yeah. Yes sir, yes sir. Look at him. We got us a old classic. Yep, yep. Front end on that old classic is all beat up, but from the side is a good looking truck. You got a big visor and all the lights and everything, but all the grill bars are missing, but maybe one or two. The bumper look like he took out a moose. <laughs> but anyhow, it's a classic. XL. Still on the road. Let's go. Up here is the scale. I'm thinking it's closed. It's from the side. It looks like it says closed. And there you hear that. 
that's the green light. Uh, we're good to go. Whoop, whoop, drug it up, drug it up. Yes, sir, yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. No bull holler just right now. I'm glad he's going on. Yeah. Got it on recycled air just to make sure I don't want to smell it. <laughs> no, I couldn't do that's what that's one thing I haven't pulled. That in cars. I've done no car hauling, I've never pulled no bull rack. I think I've pulled everything else. Yeah, we are now about five five miles outside of Jackson, yeah fixing me going through bladder buster but it ain't bladder buster no more they done repaved the bladder buster section they didn't do it all the way through jackson but they did repave the worst part of it but yeah uh, evidently they still working because there's a sign right here road work ahead two left lanes closed great yeah Anywho, oh yeah, bumps, bumps, and more bumps. Yep. Yeah, well. This is the freshly paved section. This was real bad here at one point. That's why I call this place Bladder Buster. Because you come in here with a full bladder, you're going to leave with an empty one all the bumps. Man, that car that pulled out in front of me, holy shit, I, whoo, he about got run over. Yeah, and then my phone, it lost, I lost all the storage in the phone, so I had to go through and delete some shit out of there to get more room to keep recording. Yep, yep. We got that, but yeah, that one car just pulled out there, no blinker, no nothing, just pulled out right in front of me. Uh, anyhow, <coughs> we almost through Jackson now. Hell, hell. The AC on this truck is freezing up. Man, I guess I need a cab filter or something. Already twice a day has done this and don't normally it might do it once a day and then I unfreeze it and then it's good for a little while but yeah I don't know what's going on I don't know I mean luckily right now it's overcast and not real hot I mean 75 degrees it's a little warm but it's not real hot Oh, I'm still, yeah, about 90 miles, 80, 90 miles from Meridian. So I don't want to stop till I get there. Two left lanes, yeah, that's, keep going, yeah, north, we're going east, okay, so I ain't got to worry about that. Anyhow, we pretty much through Jackson now. All the bad part of it. Anyhow, the, the rough spots. So yeah, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. All right, all right, folks. Get it, get We about uh, let's see, 35 miles. Or so. No, a little more than that. No, that's about right. 35 miles from our fuel stop. All right, all right, folks. Here we are. We. Come around the corner here. This is where we'll uh, join in with 59. So right now we're on 20. Right here is where 59 and 20 comes together. So now we'll be riding north and east at the same time. Yep, yep. I see the mile marker just jumped from the 120, the 131 to the 149. And uh, we got three miles up here to our fuel stop. Yep, yep, three miles to the fuel stop. 
Oh, this lane runs out. Ugh. Oh, I get stuck behind Grandpa Jones here. <laughs> Wanting to put put along here, 60 miles an hour. Oh. Well, yeah, it ain't but a mile. It ain't even worth trying to get out there to go around them. Oh, just slow down, stupid. Yep, yep. Anywho. Alright, I'll get back with y'all. We get off the exit. Alright, folks, here we are. Here we are. Yep, yep. This is where we're getting fuel. It's uh, 1 o'clock Central Time, so 2 o'clock my time. Yep, yep. Hopefully it ain't backed up at the pumps, because if it ain't, then I'll go on and get fuel and go on to Tuscaloosa, probably. Yeah. Probably where I'll end up, Tuscaloosa there at the QT. As long as I can get in and out of here pretty quick, that's where I'm going, anyways. So we'll see. Well, this don't happen too often. Pull in here, right here to the first pump. Yeah, nobody sitting here. What a deal! What a deal. Maybe I won't be here that long. All right, I'll get back with y'all when I get done fueling. All right, all right, folks. 20 minutes total. And that's what happened to go inside and get the pump set up and everything. So that wasn't too bad. So yeah. I'm gonna go on and roll on for a little while more. <coughs> Probably over to Tuscaloosa. It's about 100 miles from here. And yeah, I wanted to get me a couple Red Bulls, but there's a bus just pulled in there, and there's about 40 people in line. I'm like, well, I wanted a Red Bull, but I didn't want one that bad. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Get on down the road, I'll get my Red Bull in the morning. Yep, yep. Anywho, alright. Now, well, here we are, getting back on the big road. Let's go, let's go. Whoop, whoop, trucking up, trucking up. Oh, yep, yep, here we are. Getting ready to cross in Alabama. The scales are closed. The scales are closed. Which I figured they would be. Well, it's about two miles over here to the state line. Two miles to the state line. So, yep, yep, let's go, let's go. To sweet home Alabama. That's right. Welcome to Alabama, folks. All right. Yeah, we got about uh, 76 miles. 40 miles, folks. 40 miles. We'll be done for today. That'll be right around 700 miles. Yep, yep. Oh, boy, look at here. It just come out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, that's good. I get a clean windshield out the deal. And uh, we're 25 miles, 26 miles from stopping. So, yeah. What a deal. I'd much rather be raining when I'm parked anyways than, than not raining because, hell, it won't be so hot. It ain't hot in here anyhow. I got the AC. But, yeah. Anywho. 
Yeah, we'll be stopping at the 77. I think I'm going to go to QT, like I said earlier today, and that's going to be it for today. All right, all right, folks. Yeah. I think I might stop here for today at the 76. Instead of going down there, I can stop here and use pilot points to get me some subway for the night. Yeah, they ain't gotta worry about cooking. Hell yeah, let's do that. Oh, that ain't good, no, like they got power. Their big sign ain't up anyway, ain't no. We'll see here in a second. Yep, yep. ain't looking good when these trucks parked out here on the side by the, the driveway right there to where that plastic's parked. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I see a spot. No, oh, there's a pier built. They have a bobtail back up in there. Well, shit. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Alright, alright. Well, there weren't no spots here. <coughs> the one spot I thought that was there, there was a, a Bobtail Peterbilt back in there. So, I went in there and got my food. And now I'm going to go down the road here to the QT. Where I planned on staying anyways. Yep, yep. It says no overnight parking over there across the street. I was fixing to go across the street over there. I got some truck parking over there, but it says no overnight parking. And I don't need no bullshit from nobody, which I know people park there overnight, but the way my luck is, I'd go over there. About the time I get to sleep, somebody come knocking on my damn door. Hey, uh, you're not supposed to spend the night here. So, yeah, I'm better off not to do it. I'll just go on down the road one mile down the road from this exit, there's a, the next exit, there's like three truck stops there, so they're bound to be parking in one of them. Yep, yep. So, we are gonna go on down here? Yeah. Uh, got me some Subway, got me, it cost me 45 cents. Cause I had enough points to pay for it, all but 45 cents. So that's pretty good. I ain't gonna complain about that. So yep, yeah, we can go down here to the next exit. I ain't gotta worry about cooking or nothing, which that's good. And then I'll cook again tomorrow night. Well, yeah, well. Yeah. I just didn't feel like cooking after driving 700 miles. The last thing I want to do is cook. Not if I don't have to. But anyhow, all right. We'll get back with y'all here in a second. All right, here we are, folks. We at the exit now. Yep, yep. See the QT right there, straight off the exit a lot of times. Yeah, let 
there might only be one or two spots in here, but that's all I need is one. Because there ain't a whole bunch of parking in the QTs. The QTs ain't got a bunch of parking. But... I'm going to try it out and see. Yeah, well. If not, then there's a pilot and a TA riding the other side of the overpass, the interstate. So either way, uh, I see a parking spot already. So we good, unless there's a trailer dropped in there, I see a parking spot. Oh, it's a hill here. This is where I get my chips at, the chips that I like. Help, help. Oh no, it's a little damn six wheeler. I didn't see it. Oh. Yeah, they still a spot there though, right next to that black Peterbilt. Hell yeah. Or that blue Peterbilt. Yeah. Right next to that blue Pete right here, there's a spot. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's one of the new 589, folks. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I like them 589s. I don't know why people don't, but I like them. You got the wide cab, along with the, the nostalgic big hood. Hell yeah. I like me a 589. But yeah, my boss ain't gonna buy one of them gas guzzlers. Although I think you can get just as much fuel mileage out of one of those you can these nowadays. And it's a 2025. Yeah, buddy. All right. See here, yeah, 2025. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. The new 589, folks. Yep, yep.